Hi guys, so the next uh, equation of a plane that we're going to look at is the Cartesian equation of a plane. Now these two, these two basically go hand in hand, they're kind of like the same thing. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. But yeah, I, I want to mainly focus on this, the, the Cartesian equation of plane, that's what we're going to find. Um, so it's that when someone asks me the what's the equation of a plane, that's the first thing I'm going to try and give because it's very nice. It connects X, Y, and Z together in one equation. And I'm actually going to show you how A, B, C very neatly gives you the normal vector. And that leads me on to what is a normal vector. So the normal to the plane, hopefully you remember, do you remember the, the, the ta do you remember the, when we were getting the tangent to the curve and we said, if this is the tangent, this is the normal, it's perpendicular. This is the normal, perpendicular to the tangent. So the normal is perpendicular. The normal to a plane is perpendicular to the plane. So it's a vector perpendicular to a plane. And it can be, I mean, there, a plane can have many normal vectors just of different um, of different lengths, but they'll all be going in the same direction. So like if, I don't know, let's say 3, negative 5, 2 is a normal to the plane, then negative 30, 50, and negative 20 is also a normal to the plane. It's just, it's, um, it's just a bigger vector, and it's going in the opposite direction. So where does this whole thing come from? So I'm going to explain to you how to get how we get this and then how this turns into this very, neat, very neatly. So imagine we have we have a point on the plane. So this this example that I'm going to show you, we need a, a normal vector and a normal a vector normal to the plane and a point A. So imagine this is point A. So this is point A. And here we have um, some general point, let's just call it P. So this is AP. So this is a vector on the line that joins A, a point that you know, to some general point. So we know AP, AP is equal to P minus A. And P is the kind of general, it's the general uh, point, it's, it's, it's uh, x, y, z are the coordinates. So the position vector is actually going to be, well, let me just write it as r. So it's r minus a. So that r is the some point x, y, z. And the, the well, sorry, the, the r is the position vector x, y, z. It's this. This is what r is, x, y, z. So we've ap is r minus a. Fine. Now, because of, by definition, what, what the normal is, the normal and this vector, i.e. any vector that's on the plane, are perpendicular. So I can say AP dot N, so N is our, N is the letter we use for normal vector. This has to equal zero because perpendicular vectors, the dot product equals zero. But this is R minus A, R minus A dot N equals zero. And then multiply this out, or dot n minus a dot n equals zero. And then I have or dot n equals a dot n. This is my, this is this formula. This is where it comes from. Do you need to know what I've just done there? Not really. You wouldn't be asked to show that, but it's certainly nice to understand where this comes from. So this is the formula, r dot n equals a dot n. Now the way that turns into the Cartesian, the Cartesian equation is, r is this x, y, z, so you're left with x, y, z dot n. Now just imagine, um, well, I'm gonna do it in this example here, but you're gonna have some vector n dot a point, um, the point that you know, sorry, not dot, this equals some a dot n, a dot n. I'll, I'll, we'll do the, we'll do the example in a second. So if this dot this equals this dot this, uh, all you're going to get is something x plus something y plus something z, something x plus something y plus something z, equals a scalar which is d, and that's your a, that's your point dot normal vector. So what does the d tell us? Well, 
not much really on its own. It's it's the dot product of the point of some point on the vector with the normal. But uh, yeah, as I say, that doesn't tell you that much. But the ABC tells you a lot. The ABC is the normal vector. So when you see an equation written like like this, the normal is ABC, the normal vector. Okay, so let's let's go down and do this. And that this is why I said this kind of turns into this. So I'm going to say um, or dot n equals a dot n. Or is my x y z. N is my three negative five two. So maybe sorry I should should maybe have read this. Find the equation of the plane with normal vector n which equals this, and which contains the point a three three one. So again, remember guys, you can kind of use them synonymously, but just be clear, this is not the point A, this is the position vector A, but it's kind of the same thing. So 3, 3, 1, dot n, which is 3, negative 5, 2. So this becomes 3x minus, minus 5y plus 2z plus 2z equals, and then we'll just do this, 9 minus 15 plus 2, 3x minus 5y plus 2z equals, 9 minus 15 is negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. There we have it. That is the equation of a plane. Okay, great. Next example. Find the Cartesian equation of the plane, pi, or pi 1, so I just wanted to introduce this to you. This is a capital pi. So often we use the letter, the letter capital pi to uh, define a plane. So anyway, capital pi containing points P, Q and R. So again, let's be clear what's going on here. This is some plane. Now, P is on the plane, Q is on the plane and R is on the plane. P Q or I need to get the normal well remember I need a point and I need a normal so how do I get the normal to a plane I need to get a vector that is perpendicular a vector perpendicular to the plane well what I can do is if I get this vector P R and this vector um PR and this vector PQ, although I'm just looking at these numbers, I think I prefer to use, um, well, I could use PR, and let's do PQ, let's do PQ, and now let's do QP, um, QPR, uh, let's do QP and QR, okay, like that. So, obviously, guys, you're probably wondering why am I what am I doing? But I can choose any of the of the three vectors. So there's three vectors, and I just need to choose two because if I want to get the cross, if I want to get the the a, ve a vector normal to the plane, if I get the cross product of these two vectors or any of the two vectors, I'm choosing these two because the these numbers are smaller. If I get the cross product of those two vectors, what I get is the normal. So this and again you have to imagine this in 3d this is the normal that is perpendicular it's coming like straight out of the table and these are on, like these are like two pencils on the table and this guy's coming straight out of the table so if i get the cross product of those two i'll get the normal okay now first what i actually need to do is find p uh, qp and qr so let's do that first qp qp equals p minus q which is one six minus seven minus q which is 0 1 1 this minus this is 1 this minus this is 5 this minus this is negative 8 and then I need q or q or q or equals r minus q 2 0 negative 4 minus q same thing 0 1 1 equals 2 negative 1 and negative 5 Okay, now 
I need to get the cross product of QP and QR and that will give me the, the normal. So QP, QP cross QR is equal to 1, 5, negative 8 cross 2 minus 1 minus 5 equals. So obviously, guys, take out your formula booklet if you're not sure how to do this. But remember, cross out the first two, or put, it, put your hand over the top two, and it's this times this, negative 25, minus this times this, which is actually minus 8. Then it's this times this, minus 16, this times this, minus this times this, which would be plus 5. And then finally, this times this, minus 1, like 1 times negative 1, minus 2 times 5, minus 10. And this equals minus 25 minus 8 is minus 33, minus 16 plus 5 is negative 11, and negative 11 again. So I have a normal vector of negative 33, negative 11, and negative 11. So um, now this is where this, this is where it gets interesting. This equals this actually equals I can take out a negative 3. This equals negative 3. Um, sorry, not negative 3, negative 11. I can take out negative 11 and I get negative 3. Sorry, not negative 3. I get 3, 1, 1. So a normal vector, normal vector is, because remember what I said, you can use any normal vector you want. So I could use negative 33, 11, negative 11, negative 11, but wouldn't it be nicer to just use 3, 1, 1? It's a much nicer vector to use. So to get the equation of the plane. So equation of plane is, so back to this formula, guys, it is or dot n equals a dot n. Or dot n equals a dot, a dot n. So I want you to kind of remember that. Or dot n equals a dot n. Or dot n equals a dot n. Now, you say, well, you don't need to remember because it's in the formula booklet. But yeah, fine. But remember to use it. Um, so or is your x, y, z. n is 3, 1, 1 equals a dot n. So I can use any point here. I'm going to use q. I think it's the nicest. Uh, easiest point to use. So I'm going to use Q011. So the point is 011 dot, I should really put a dot here. This dot this equals this dot 311. Multiply it out. And you can see, well, I'll show you this in a second. 3x plus y plus z equals 0 plus 1 plus one, which is two. Let's just leave it like that. Perfect. And you can see now, guys, if you put in negative 33, negative 11, negative 11, you'd have it on, uh, it would be here on both sides. So what would happen is it would just cancel out anyway, and you'd end up with, um, you would end up with um, the exact same equation. Um, okay. That's it. That's the equation of a plane. That is the equation of a plane, the Cartesian equation of a plane. Hope that all made sense. As I said, that is by far my favorite equation of the plane. Um, so get used to it and be happy dealing with it. Okay, that's it. See you in the next video.